Cheers! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! We are celebrating a little bit early today. If you are new to our channel, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. We make videos all about fashion, tips, tricks, lookbooks, all kinds of budget-friendly stuff. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we have a special video. We're only doing one video for you guys this week and next week just because we are taking some time out to celebrate with our families. But we wanted to make this a fun one. So we've got a little wine. We're hanging out on the couch relaxing and we're looking forward to sharing some things with you. Yeah, so we actually do this every single year. We do a lot of hauls. So obviously we are coming across a lot of items. We have 10 different categories that we're going to share with you all of our favorite things that we have found in the year 2020. So we actually keep it a surprise from each other. So we're going to share it with you as well as each other, our favorites that we found for year 2020. And we'll have everything linked below. So make sure you check it out if you like any of these things. And this is definitely time to take some notes for your Christmas list. Okay, so for our first category, we are going to share with you our favorite jeans that we have come across this year. So we have found lots of good jeans. Not all of them are in, in stock still. So we wanted to share with you the ones that are still available that if you are looking for a great pair of jeans, this will be one that you will want to look for. So for me, there is no surprise, but I had to have it on the list is the Target High Rise Skinny Definitely Jeans. Definitely a so, good one. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. And you know, right now they're actually on sale. So these are usually $25. They are currently on sale for less than $18. Hopefully that sale is still available when you guys check out the links below, but they come in black, they come in a medium wash and a dark wash. They also have a different pair that has like a faux pocket in the front. They are honestly just a great jean. They're ones that we have picked up pretty much in every single color that they have available because we really, really like them. So this is my my easy peasy uh, first category. Yeah, and if so. you wanna see them, just watch any of our Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> so true. <laughs> Okay, so what do you have for yours? All right, so for mine, I actually have something a little bit new for you guys. I have worn it, I will insert pictures. However, if you guys checked out our How to Find Your Perfect Jeans video, you know Christina and I talked about 100% cotton and yeah. how if you wanted something without stretch, that was a great jean. It was, it's kind of like the gold standard of jeans. It doesn't show any lumps and bumps. So I went on a mission to find the perfect pair and I think that I found them. So I have to share them because I actually picked these up in three colors. I'm kind of obsessed with them. And those are the Levi's 501 skinnies. So I will insert some footage of me wearing these these are great. They come in lots of different washes. They come in white, they come in black. I actually did have mine hemmed because I was looking for like a true crop. However, even leaving them long, they're like right to the ankle. They're also really cute. They've got like a skinny feel, but because there is no stretch to them, you don't really get the tightness on the ankle. So it's a little bit of a different look, but they're so good. They're so good and they're 100% cotton. So if you're looking for that ladies, no stretch, 501 Skinnies by Levi, great pair of jeans. So our next category is tops. So this could be any kind of tops. Mm -hmm. So I picked a sweater, surprise, surprise. My favorite sweater, which I happen to be wearing today, and it is the Target V-neck sweater. Really don't have much to say about this because you've all heard it, you've all seen it. It's in like a million videos. I have it in like every color, it is great. It's very affordable. It's been on sale for as little as $10. It may be back up to 20, 25, but it's an amazing sweater. So yeah, not a surprise. Yeah, we, we have these also in every single color. So mm -hmm. when we like something, we just go back around and keep that's on getting right. it. That's so right. That's a good one. I wanted to actually share mine. So uh, I have been obsessed with turtlenecks, you guys, and I've shared these with you before, but I wanted to once again talk about the Walmart turtlenecks. So they've got two different categories. They have a bunch of different solids. I want to say probably close to either like six or eight different colors that are less than $12. You know, I love a good deal. So these are a great turtleneck. And then you can also pick up the striped version. I think they come in three or four different colors. And these ones you can get for less than $8. So, Man, I thought my Target I sweater know, was a good deal. I know, <laughs> but you know, and, and here's the thing is they're such a good quality. Like they don't shrink, they're not fading. It's the very same thing, you know, like even though Kelly and I really love getting deals, we love when we can find a good bargain, mm -hmm. not if it means that we're going to have to sacrifice on the quality of the item and we're having, you know, uh, 
shrinkage or fading or anything like that. So we're never gonna share anything that we feel like is cheap and chintzy, but it's at a great deal. These are always gonna be items that we feel like are good quality for a great price, so yeah. Sweaters. Good one. It's, it's getting, good it's one. cold here in Florida right yeah, now. Yeah, I actually got to wear them today. I think I that's why we're inspired. I know, it's so true. <laughs> Other than that, we probably would have shown like maybe the like a t-shirt. T -shirt. Yeah, <laughs> probably the Target t-shirts or something. So, okay, next category. Okay, so the next category is outerwear. And because we're all in this crazy situation right now, I wanted to share with you something that I am finding so much use out of. So and that is cardigans, which I absolutely love. However, this one is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. So yeah, you guys are all familiar with Barefoot Dreams. They have such a soft, luxurious uh, feel to them. And it's great because I'm really able to easily transition from being outside running errands with um, these cardigans and then coming into the house and curling up on the couch and really the cardigan feels like a blanket to me. My kids have definitely caught me a couple of times napping with my cardigan <laughs> laying over me because mom's a little tired during the holidays. So yeah, I picked it up in this taupe color. I know Kelly, you mm -hmm. got it in a, in a green color. Every yeah. day so, to do a car line. Mm, yeah, so I had to share it with you. Because of course, you know, I think in the past I've shared uh, jackets and things, but this year I really found that I'm, yeah. you know, I'm hanging around the house a lot. I'm being very, very comfortable living in some joggers. So yeah, good one, good one. Well, I actually, one of my favorite outerwear pieces, probably because we live in Florida too, so we're not doing heavy outerwear, mm -hmm. but I love a cargo jacket. So I have one that I have shared with you guys before. Unfortunately, I've had it for years. It's not available. You can't find it anywhere. And I actually needed an update because I noticed when I tried to layer it over things, it's a bit like snug in the back area. It must have shrunk. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to find a new one. So I went on a mission and I found a new one. I absolutely love, love, love the new one that I found. It is by this um, brand, Velvet and Spencer. I'll link it for you guys. But I love it because it's the same super soft, lightweight material. It's not a heavy, crunchy, you know, rough cargo jacket. It's super lightweight, super soft, and very comfortable and very flattering on the body. So I'll definitely insert some pictures for you guys. But if you're looking for a great cargo jacket, this one is fantastic. So our next category is one of my favorite categories, something that I'm always shopping for, and that is shoes. But 2020 was a little bit different for me. I actually chose a sneaker, which I never used to be a sneaker girl, but 2020 definitely turned me into a sneaker girl, probably because we're all dressing super casual, and I fell in love with these Sam Edelman. These were definitely my favorites this year. They're white, they're leather, they're super simple, the design is super simple, and there's something about them. They have like a rounded toe but it's a little bit more of like a narrow rounded toe and something about this sneaker makes it work with everything from jeans to shorts to dresses all kinds of stuff so this is my favorite my favorite one this year yeah okay so I actually wore my sneakers over here today <laughs> but that's not the shoe that I'm gonna share with you so the shoe that I'm gonna share with you are and you guys have seen it a million times they're these taupe wedge booties so I definitely had a little bit of an accident with my foot this year. You know, I was having for sure some toe issues. So, so many of the shoes that I was trying to wear were really just aggravating my toe, but I found that these uh, boots were just so super comfortable. They've got, you know, the, what do you call it? The, the memory foam that's on the inside of them. The wedge really helps to support the entire foot. It's also a great neutral color. So yeah, these were ones I was basically like living in 24 seven. So. They were casual, they feel really comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, but yet they were a little bit dressier for Very when cute. I did for when I did go out. So for this next category, we are talking about our favorite bags, and I wanted to share with you a bag that I actually picked up last year, but I have love I love it so much, and I really wanted to share with you. This is a quilted um, Rebecca Minkoff bag. Such a great bag, um, and it's got a great classic feel to it. You can actually unstrap it from the sides and you can make it longer into like a true crossbody or you can shorten it up and have it be much more of like a, I don't know what you Shoulder call it. bag. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's got a lot of space inside of it. The quilting actually helps to make it look a bit more high end along with the chain, but a great white button down and some jeans and you can also wear this for a very casual look. So I love versatility. So 
has a little pocket that's in the back, lots of good space. So this is a classic bag that you guys can invest in and not worry about then having buyer's remorse. This is one you're gonna get a lot of use out of, so. Yeah, it's such a good one. It mm. actually looks so similar to the Chanel boy bag. So For a like, fraction of the price. Oh my God, <laughs> fraction, fraction, fraction. So I love that bag. So if you guys have been watching us for a while, you know I love my designer bags. However, there was one bag that really stood out this year that I felt like we kept grabbing for it for so many outfits, and it's such a good one, and it is the Madewell Leather Transport Tote. Tote. So this one is so good, I love the color. I actually picked it up in black as well. It's so functional. It's very basic, classic shape and a zipper closure. So I've also used this one for traveling and it just goes with so much. It's so comfortable on the shoulder. These straps are really comfortable, nice and like flat. They lay on your shoulder and this is such a good one. And this one is definitely in the $100 range. I wanna say maybe around 150, but it often goes on sale. So I will link it for you guys, but definitely super Super high quality, beautiful leather, beautiful bag for a really good price. So definitely something to check out. Yeah, we were always wearing those. We were I felt like we were grabbing them yeah. a lot when we were doing you definitely. Know, our either lookbooks or house yep. styles. And it's yeah, so casual. Great one. It's just such a good one. It matches so much. So mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed to say, but I think this got more use than like the Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Never don't shh, don't tell your husband. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I'll edit that out. You know, I just noticed it's a little unfair that I'm, I'm close to the wine table. <laughs> Guys, it, it's not that I'm the one always drinking. It's that I happen to be closer to the table. <laughs> Reaching over you. Anyway, back to business. The next category is belts. And one of the belts that I really love this year was this Amazon Circle Belt. This is such a good belt. And it looks very like designer-esque. I've seen it in other more high-end stores where it's still, you know, double the price. This one is really affordable. It comes in a variety of colors and a variety of hardware. Really like this belt. Definitely got a lot of use out of it. You know, um, I love some of the designer belts, but this one, honestly, it gave the same look mm. and the same feel, and it was so inexpensive. So, and you can get it Amazon Prime in just a few days. So it also makes a great gift idea. Love this belt. This was definitely belt of the year for me. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a really good one. So. I wanted to share this one that I picked up from Express. So this is a reversible belt and it has this beautiful like taupey brown um, snake print on one side and then you can just flip the, um, the buckle and then you've got this beautiful taupe side on the other side. So I picked this one up in a medium. They do also have it in a cognac brown and then the opposite side is a black. It's currently on sale for $20. Wow. So yeah, I really like it and I'm also really digging the the round buckle. Mm -hmm. So I do have a leopard belt that has a square buckle on it, which I really like. However, this year I definitely found that the, the round buckle, and maybe it's from that, you mm -hmm. know, designer uh, influence that I just really enjoy. Really yes, yeah, so if you're looking for a good print and, you know, something that's a good deal and you want to get two belts for the price of one. That's right. Good one. Good Check one. out that link. <laughs> Okay, so the next category that we are sharing with you are our favorite jewelry pieces. So I'm sure you guys have grown accustomed to seeing the Tory Burch uh, layered bracelet that I have. Unfortunately, it is no longer available, but the circle pendant necklace that I have just been loving since I picked it up from the Nordstrom sale is actually still available, but not, not in this exact mm -hmm. design. So this one is a gold and silver design for the circle pendant. However, the one that they have available now has like really pretty, like just the slightest little rhinestones that are inside of it. Just a little embellishment, which I still really, really love. This is a necklace that I can't believe how much I love mm -hmm. it. And actually, when I picked it up, Kelly was like, oh my God, I love that necklace. I'm gonna pick it up yeah, as well. And I got so. it as a gift for someone mm. and they loved it as well. Such yeah. a good one. Yeah. So simple. So yeah, mine actually, you guys probably have never seen. I've worn them before, but you don't typically see my ears with my hair and everything. And it's kind of funny, the other day I was wearing them. They are these Nordstrom little cubic zirconia um, studs. I actually got them, I believe in the six carat, so three and three. Very nice large size so that you can kind of see them, especially when I put my hair back. And my husband happened to, I had my hair up and he saw them and he goes, I didn't buy you those diamond <laughs> earrings. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was like, no, they're not real. I actually, a long time ago, happened to have a really nice pair of real diamond studs, mm -hmm. went shopping, was trying on a bunch of clothes. At the end of the day, was missing the diamond stud, never found it. And ever since then, I vowed to never, ever, ever have expensive earrings like that again. It broke my heart. I haven't recovered. So when I saw these, they were actually recommended by an Instagrammer that I love, Fashion Jackson. And I checked them out on Nordstrom and I was like, this is awesome. They are very high quality. They're very pretty. They give you that like classic diamond feel, but at a very reasonable price. I want to say it's somewhere between 50 and $60. Mm -hmm. They also have smaller ones if you don't want them to be so blingy. Um, they make a great gift. And yeah, at least, God forbid, I were to lose one, I wouldn't feel yeah. quite as crushed. And I, you know, no one's ever going to know, honestly, who, who can tell. My own husband couldn't tell. He thought I was getting diamond jewelry from someone else. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So the next category was a little bit challenging for me because I'm kind of a perfume junkie. Um, but there was one that I had to choose because I actually recently replaced it, which means if I went through a whole bottle and then bought another bottle, I know it's definitely one of my favorites. And that is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I really love this scent. Of course, it, it helps that it's this beautiful pink shade. I love having that on my um, vanity, but I just love this smell. It's just like a classic, beautiful scent. It lasts really well. So this is what I've been wearing a lot this year, so much so that I had to buy a new bottle. So I had to share this one with you guys. And mine has a little funny story. So for my birthday, Kelly actually got me a sampler set. So I had all of these different high-end, perfumes that were inside of it. And then once you picked from the 15 different scents, you could actually get a full size bottle. So I picked the Adelaide Cologne Clementine California. I had my whole family test. It was like on a daily basis. It, it was, was like a spreadsheet. Exactly. It was, an account. <laughs> it was like a playoff, you know, like I would have them have two different scents. Everyone would have to vote which one that they liked. And it came down to the winner. So this is the bottle that won. It actually came with this really cute, like little, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. So it was great because I actually dropped it. So this little case that it came in was perfect because I think the bottle would have actually oh, shattered. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I love it. It has a very fresh, clean scent to it. A little bit of citrus. It's definitely long lasting. And like I said, it is Briggs approved. Everyone in my family absolutely loved this smell. So yeah, this is the one that we have. So if you like something that has like a light, fresh, clean scent to it, and you know, it's going to last all day. This is the See, one so I didn't just give you a birthday present, I gave you a whole science experiment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. My son was asking me, so when's the playoffs? So like, when are we going to find out who's the winner of this? You know, every day it was like, smell this one? Okay, now smell this one. Did you have Which like coffee one? beans? No, like, yeah. <laughs> So the next category that we have is skincare slash makeup, and I'm so excited to share this product with you. So I don't know how many of you guys are fans of FabFitFun, but I received my box and have fallen in love with this product. So this is from Dr. Brand Pore Dermabrasion. I find that I either have some blackheads that start to congregate on my nose, or I feel like my pores just tend to get larger and larger as I get older. And this is such a great product. I've definitely done the Biore strips. I do lots of exfoliation, but this has been by, by far the best product I've ever found for reducing pores. Mm. So this one is has like just these tiny little granules that are um, on the inside. Definitely not anything that you can point out individually. So it's like a very soft, soft, almost like you know, microderms that are inside of there. And you just start to put it on your face. And for me specifically, like my little cheek area, my nose, a little bit on my forehead and on my um, chin. And it has almost like this minty, minty like fresh, uh, like feeling to mm -hmm. it where I feel like it's like tingling a little bit. You just leave it on after kind of, you know, rubbing it around in for about a minute or so. And then you leave it on for an additional minute and you wipe it off, wash it off with some water. And I'm telling you, you can instantly tell that your pores are smaller. Mm -hmm. I actually thought of you when I when, want it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, when I was like, I was like it's going in my <laughs> cart today. <laughs> my bag I'm like that's right Kelly is always looking for things for pores so this is a good really good one. and I felt like it really helped to clear out my pores something nice. about it is supposed to actually like get in there and really like get those very cool oil definitely checking that out mm, it's a good one 
Well, no surprise, mine is a makeup product. So I have my skincare stuff, but I tend to use the same old, same old. So this year I discovered a new eyeliner, which I actually have talked about before. I typically wear the same eyeliner every single day. I've been wearing the MAC, um, I can't even remember what it's called now, but it's a brown shade for years. And I recently discovered this color by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Walk of No Shame. And this color actually is like a brownish, mauve has like some purple undertones in it. Um, it's just a really beautiful, like kind of whiny brown color. And I actually ordered two more of them. So I have, I'm finishing up one now, I have two more boxed ones uh, because I just absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. So if you, especially if you have like blue or green eyes, I feel like this really, really brings out the color in your eyes. You know, those like purpley shades or reddish undertones, they really help to bring out the eye color. So this is such a good one. Walk of No Shame by Charlotte Tilbury definitely check it out they actually have a whole line which I actually own the whole line the blush the eyeshadow the lipstick I love all of it the colors are fantastic but in particular the eyeliner is so good so definitely check that one out if you're looking for a new eyeliner shade mm. And so the next category is the hair category. Now I don't actually use a lot of hair products on my hair, basically just one product and some hairspray and that's pretty much it. But I have had some of you ask me about a product. So the one that I love is this Moroccan oil smoothing lotion. So after I wash my hair and kind of towel dry it a little bit, I do one pump of this, run it through my hair, comb it through, and this is the only thing I use for a blow drying lotion. I really like it. I think it's great if you have like thicker hair, um, maybe like a little bit of texture and you wanna get rid of like any frizziness. They actually have, you know, ones for curly hair. They have all different hair types, but this smoothing lotion is great to get rid of like any kind of like frizz that you might have in your hair. So definitely recommend it. It's a good one. If you're looking for a good blow dry cream, definitely check out Moroccan oil. Yay. I'm gonna have to try that one. Okay, so for you ladies, I am giving you guys a prime and prep detangler from Drybar. So I love their products. Definitely wanted to try this one out and this one is a good one. So you actually just spray it on your hair after it's damp prior to putting any sort of either like blow dry or heat, you can straighten your hair. And the good thing is, is that I love having products that one, don't weigh my hair down because of course it's naturally wavy. Today I kind of straightened it and then tried to do a little bit of curls on the bottom, which are falling out, sorry. But um, yeah, I like to have things that don't weigh my hair down too much. So this one also has biotin in it, uh, vitamin B, vitamin C, it also gives you some UV blocker so it really helps to just protect your hair so anything that's nourishing and good for your hair on top of actually really helping your hair to protect it from heat it's a win-win for me so yeah good one yeah good one. okay so that is it we had so much fun sharing all of our favorites for 2020 with you guys we hope that you guys have just a wonderful holiday season with your friends and family I think this year in particular is more important than any other year that we've had so thank you so much for spending time with us for supporting our channel, for really just giving us so much great feedback and really just being honestly just a wonderful family for us to share you know, our love of fashion with. So we hope you guys you know, ring out the, the rest of the year in a great way and we love, love you guys and we will see you guys next Sunday, okay? Yes, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna drink this uh, wine now that we're shutting That's off the right. camera. Bye. <laughs> One, bye. two, three, bye. bye.